I've been uh, locked into this tournament. It's it's just amazing to me because I admitted it here. Yeah. And you feel the same way, Chris Absolutely. and TJ as well. And, and certainly Michigan not having a great year uh, in basketball. I, I didn't focus. I didn't drill down on the college basketball season very much at all. But when the tournament hits and it's do or die – and you just see these stories and you learn who's in and who's not. And you learn who's hot and who keeps on going on and what it means to the team. And you learn their stories. It's not much like it, man. Yeah. This tournament. 100%. Everybody loves the Cinderella story. And then you find out where this kid's from or that program transfers from and all of that business. And, um, and then you start putting it all together as well from the school's point of view as well as everything going on at that school, there was one performance and one player that just jumped out at me. And obviously I could go Princeton or or 15 seed making the Sweet 16. <laughs> Princeton's in the Sweet 16. I'm going with Kansas State is what I'm going with. The Big 12 champs in football fielded a basketball team or put on the court a basketball program that was picked dead last in the Big 12, dead last in the Big 12. And their, you know, new coach Jerome Tang coming from Baylor had two players left, essentially. Wow. Two guys returning from a uh, an underperforming program. And one of them that stuck around and was there is a, now a fifth-year senior named Marquise Noel. And what this guy does at five foot eight. Watching him play, the only, just to bring it all together, the only connection I can throw out there, or he, he reminds me that he's the Deuce Vaughn of this team. <laughs> okay, Deuce Vaughn, 5'5", five, five running back of Kansas State. Saw him at the combine. He was terrific. This guy's 5'8". The no-look passes make you jump off the couch, including an alley-oop, no-look alley-oop, right at the buzzer in the first half against Kentucky after they beat Montana State. This kid, the fifth-year senior, he had 27 points, nine assists, three steals against Kentucky. He scored 23 of his 27 in the second half. He he tied the game with six minutes to go in a three-point shot where his left foot was on the monsterly sized, uh, I was like, interesting enough, I use the word monster here, uh, March Madness logo at, at midcourt. His left foot was touching the logo. He, he nails a three to tie the game with six minutes to go. He buries a step back three to bring them within one of Kentucky with mere minutes to go. That sparked a 19-9 to run to win it. He had that three in that 19-9 run and also eight of eight from the line. He was perfect. He, he didn't miss from the line when they were wrapping this game up. And he also has this way of of his routine, for his free throw routine, takes the ball and he goes behind the back before shooting and then touching hardly anything but net. He shoots 90% from the field. He's Again, he's only one of two players in a roster of a team that was picked last in the Big 12. They're now in the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2018, and that eastern bracket is wide open. Wide open. As we all know, Michigan State knocked off Marquette, the two seed. Purdue got knocked off by Fairleigh Dickinson. And the other teams, Florida, Atlantic, Tennessee, Michigan State, anybody could cut down the nets in New York, where, by the way, our Monster.com Player of the Week, Marquise Noel, is from Harlem, playing in Madison Square Garden for a team from Manhattan, Kansas, is the way you do it. Pretty cool stuff, man. Pretty cool stuff. He is the Monster.com Player player of the week already here on a Monday. I loved watching him play. He has the highest scoring NCAA tournament game, the 27 against Kentucky by a Wildcat since 2012. And that is sponsored by Monster.com. Monster.com can help you tackle the job search and make your next career move. It's time to get off the sidelines. Go to Monster.com and win the job hunt. Nice run here for uh, for Kansas State. Unfortunately for them, that like their football program, they might run into Alabama. But who knows? Who knows? 
kid from Harlem could cut down the nets in Madison Square Garden for a program that was picked last in their conference, which their football team won by a surprise as well. Pretty cool stuff. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 